Hi guys, welcome back to another boss fight video. So, my previous video got a lot of comments saying that I should make a more in-depth one and also showcase the commands that I used. So, here they are. Behind me, I have a bunch of command blocks um, that all have their commands marked on them with signs. So, I'm just going to go through and show each one. So, the first one is a spawn point command. It's pretty simple, just spawn point whatever player you want to spawn point and into position. The second one is a armor command, so basically what it does is it replaces the head item of whatever entity you're targeting, so at A, armor.head, from block and then what block you're targeting. So it's that chest on the right side of the screen um, next to the redstone lamp, and it takes the zeroth slot from the chest, so that means the first slot from the chest. The rest of these armor feet, armor legs, and armor chest command blocks do the same thing as the armor head command block, but instead of taking from the zero of slot, it takes from the slot 1, 2, and 3 for chest, legs, and boots. This next one just gives you a neverite sword with the unbreakable tag, and also the enchantment sharpness at level 10. But one at the end is how many swords you want to give, so y you don't want to give like 10 of them, you just want to give one, so I just put one. The next one gives you 64 cooked beef, so the same thing as the sword, but without any of the data tags. This next one gives you a bow with unbreakable tag, and the enchantments power, and also infinity, so you can just shoot as much as you want with one arrow. Um, still one bow. The next one gives an arrow to you, just a single one, since you have infinity on your bow. The next one teleports the player to the same location as the spawn point, which is in the middle of the arena on top of that platform. So, 7, 82, minus 2, 6. Now, these last two command blocks are not as important. This one just joins all of the players to the team players. So you could use it for custom settings like no friendly fire and stuff like that. And this last one just displays the custom title text boss fight. So if I just make it run, you'll see boss fight shows up in rainbow text on my screen. And that's basically all it does. So that plays after you get teleported in and it, it just adds like a tiny bit extra. Okay, so now here we are at the next few command blocks. These are for the actual boss fight, so this one just kills all the enemies that are of type boss, so it resets everything. That one summons the guardian boss, that one summons all the silverfish, this one summons all the drowned, and for the silverfish and drowned, you summon them at each armor stand that has the tag drowned summon, or silverfish summon, um, 10 blocks below that. So. Basically, you can see all these armor stands around, that's where all the things spawn. So that group of nine is silverfish spawns, and those, like, isolated groups out on the side are the drowned spawns. So that's where all the drowned with trident spawn, and they're kind of annoying since they have a lot of health. And while they don't do much damage, they still kind of knock you around. Um, so that's where all of the mobs come in. So if I press this button you'll see I get teleported into a boss room, and that is the big patch of silverfish that spawns directly below those armor stands. And these are the drowned. Um, they also spawn directly below the armor stands. And now, for one final thing, if you keep hitting the Elder Guardian, no matter how much you hit it, before all the silverfish are killed, you're not going to do any damage at all to it. So, it has resistance um, a pretty high level, which means it doesn't take any damage at all. It's basically invincible. So even if I give myself strength, max level of strength, and I hit the Guardian multiple times, you can see it's not taking any damage. But if I kill all these silverfish first, I'll be able to hit the Guardian and deal damage to it. Okay, so now that all the silverfish are dead, when I actually hit the Elder Guardian, you can see that I kill it after a few hits because the Guardian doesn't actually have that much health. It actually only has, I think, double the health of the Drowned Death Row Tridents at you, so it's pretty weak and you could kill it fast. The main challenge is actually killing the silverfish that protect it. 
Anyways, so that's the end of my explanation. One last thing before I go, though, is I want to show you this command that I use to make the guardian have its shield. So this command is a execute if entity command, meaning that it runs if an entity exists. So this command executes if the entity at e team equals boss type equals minecraft silverfish exists. So as long as there's any silverfish that's on the team boss and is also a silverfish, um, okay, I, okay, never mind. Okay, but if that entity exists, then it runs the command effect give at e team equals boss type equals minecraft elder guardian. So it gives all elder guardians on the team boss resistance with a timer of one second and an amplifier of 255. And the true at the end is just to hide the resistance particles that it gives off. Now, it applies this resistance effect once every tick, so that's 20 times per second. So the one second thing is just so that as soon as all the silverfish dies, it only ha keeps the shield for one more second before the shield also disappears. And the amplifier of 255 means it takes basically no damage. And so that means that you can't kill it unless you kill all the silverfish first. Anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and bye. See ya.